Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the next few minutes you will learn how to make a cinematic animation from your two-dimensional design with the help of Photoshop and Premiere Pro. First of all let's have a look on our today's video. So I am here straight into Photoshop. By the way, you can download this PSD file from the video description. Export every group in PNG format, give it a file name and save this to a location of your choice. Then do this again for each layer or folder in your scene. I already saved these files with the name so I cancel some files. You can change the logo by yourself. Once all files export as a PNG then open Premiere Pro. Here I already make arrangements so I will explain you one by one. I created a new full HD sequence of 1920 into 1080p. Now import all files by clicking Ctrl plus I. I already imported so I cancel it. Then import your background picture in the timeline by simply dragging the file. Now animate the background image by scaling. Bring the cursor at the start and hit that clock icon. It will add a point of starter and then bring the cursor to the end and increase the size of the image. Now do the same with the other layers. I add a compound blur effect on the foreground layer because I want some focus on the background image. You can check how you can add that effect. If you didn't see that effect panel click on the above window tab there is the option for effect click on that it will appear on your screen. Now for the out of focus layer I just added two points of opacity. Next for the particles, I just changed the blending mode from normal to lighten. If you want to add track just right click and add track. It will add track on your timeline.
For the optical flare I also change blend mode from normal to color dodge, and decrease the opacity of layer. Next for the file layer I just add animation by changing position and scaling. After that I added my logo before file layer I increase the size of logo slowly. Now just add best music for you and and synchronizing sound for logo when it appears. So that's it all work is done. Thanks for watching this video. If you get this video informative then please subscribe my channel share it and like the video. At the end don't forget to stay safe, think quiet and keep creating.